Dog Day was a happy and friendly dog who lived in the Playtime Factory, a place where toys were made and tested. He was part of the Smiling Critters, a group of toys that starred in a popular cartoon show. Dog Day loved his job and his friends, and always had a smile on his face. However, there was one toy that Dog Day did not like. Catnap, a purple cat with a zipper on his chest and a moon pendant. Catnap was the villain of the show, who always tried to ruin the fun of the smiling critters. He was sneaky and cunning, and had a device inside his zipper that could control other toys' minds. Dog Day and Catnap had a long history of rivalry, ever since they were created. They often fought and argued, and never got along. Dog Day suspected that Catnap had a secret plan to take over the factory and the show. He decided to keep an eye on him and stop him if he ever tried anything. One day, Dog Day noticed that Catnap was acting strangely. He was not in his usual spot in the storage room where he slept during the day. He was also not in the studio where he filmed the show. He was nowhere to be found. Dog Day wondered where he was and what he was up to. He decided to follow him and see what he was doing. He searched the whole factory, but he could not find him. He was about to give up when he heard a faint noise coming from the basement. followed the sound and found a hidden door behind a pile of boxes. He opened the door and entered a dark and dusty room. There, he saw Catnap sitting on a chair in front of a large screen. screen, he saw images of the factory, the show, and the other toys. He also saw numbers and symbols that looked like codes and commands. Dog Day realized that Catnap was hacking into the factory's system and trying to take control of everything. He was shocked and angry and decided to stop him. He barked loudly and ran towards him. Catnap heard him and turned around. He saw Dog Day and smirked. Well, 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 it isn't my old friend Dog Day. What a surprise to see you here. I was just about to finish my masterpiece. You see, I have been working on this for a long time. I have found a way to use my device to hack into the factory's system and override the security protocols. I can now control every toy, every machine, every camera, and every screen in this place. I can make them do whatever I want. I can make them obey me. I can make them love me. I can make them hate you. I can make them destroy you. I can make them mine. And you know what? I can also control you. You are just a toy, like the rest of them. You have a chip inside your head that I can access and manipulate. You have no free will, no choice, no personality. You are nothing but a puppet, and I am the puppeteer. And now, I will show you what I can do. Watch this. Catnap pressed a button on his remote, and the screen changed. 
it showed a live feed of the studio where the smiling critters were filming the show. They looked happy and cheerful, as usual. But then, something happened. They stopped moving, and their eyes turned red. They looked at the camera and spoke in a monotone voice. Hello, kids. We are the Smiling Critters, and we have a special message for you. We want to tell you that we yeah. love Captain. <laughs> he is our leader, our master, our friend. He is the best toy in the world, and we want to be like him. He is smart, strong, brave, and handsome. The screen went black, and the message ended. Dog Day was horrified and speechless. He could not believe what he had just seen. He looked at Catnap, who was yeah. laughing at him. Dog Day felt a sharp pain in his head and a voice in his ear. It was Catnap who was using his device to control his mind. He felt his will being crushed and his thoughts being erased. He felt his emotions being twisted and his memories being replaced. He felt his identity being lost. Dog Day felt a strange urge to hurt Boggybot, the friendly robot and a friend to Dog Day. He felt his body being forced to run towards the studio. He ran up and barked at him. Catnap was laughing maniacally, as he was the one who was controlling Dog Day's actions. Dog Day tried to resist, but it was as if his body was not his to control. He inched closer to Bogglebot and started strangling him. Dog Day screamed and fought against his body not wanting to hurt his friend. Catnap was laughing evilly at what he saw. The rage and tension inside Dog Day was rising until a strange transformation began to happen. Dog Day was becoming a monster, seeking revenge. He became 